Deputy Charlie McCann Logan now is the next question. Well, my will ask in corner, Minister, this is to ask you in relation to the tranche two of the Glass Environmental Scheme, if there are any changes in the measures that are available to farmers um, in tranche two compared to tranche one, and in particular, Minister, there is a lot of concern as to whether the, the option for hedgerow mm. planting and uh, <coughs> low input uh, permanent pasture uh, will remain the same. Thank you, Minister. Number six. Yeah, um, yeah. No, thanks for asking this question because it's an opportunity to, to clarify a number of things, and I know Deputy O'Keeve raised the, the question earlier as well. Uh, for the second tranche of glass, which I intend uh, to launch next week, uh, I have uh, revisited the various actions that will be available uh, to farmers uh, in the light of the substantial progress made to date. Uh, glass differs from uh, previous schemes in that uh, it adopts a very targeted approach to meeting its environmental objectives. Uh, and the RDP includes a provision for review and reassessment after the first tranche. Uh, not all the actions uh, which um, have uh, not all the actions uh, we, which have met or exceeded targets uh, required to be adjusted. Uh, given that the associated spend uh, is, in many cases, relatively easily uh, accommodated within the total budget. However, given the very high uptake of low-input permanent pasture, it is proposed to adjust the provision of this action under the next tranche. It will still be possible uh, to take up to 10 hectares uh, of either. Uh, low-input permanent pasture or traditional hay meadow as before, but the uh, low-input permanent pasture component will be limited uh, to five hectares. The average application for low-input permanent pasture, pasture so far has been about seven and a half hectares, so we're going to reduce that slightly. While this means that we will uh, still see permanent pasture coming into Gloss, I hope it will encourage more farmers to, to take the hay meadow option. Uh, which is well behind target and which delivers uh, the same payment per hectare. In relation to the planting of hedgerows, I'm proposing to suspend this action for tranche two, uh, uh, along with the planting of tr traditional orchards. Both, both actions have met their targets for the entire RDP, and there's a concern about the, ava the availability uh, of planting stock. Uh, I will, however, uh, review this in tranche three. But can I just say, because there's I think most of the concern has been about the planting of hedgerows, certainly that I've got back so far. Uh, um, uh, eight million plants so far under tranche one have been ordered. Okay? Uh, and our contacts with both uh, the forestry service and relevant nurseries indicate that they'll have serious difficulties supplying even the quantity of planting stock in the time frame, time frame required for tranche one applicants. Thank you. So, so, so the reason why we're changing the hedgerow uh, option is, is just a practical one. First of all, we've met the target for that, um, for that item already, for the whole uh, uh, of glass in tranche one. And secondly, our industry has real problems even providing what's currently being committed to, as opposed to opening a whole new tranche on it. So, in other words, to solve this problem, we would have to import huge volumes of trees, which is a disease risk and a concern. Um, so, so we're taking a practical approach here um, from an environmental point of view, we've, met, we've met and surpassed our targets already in this, and from a response in terms of our nurseries as regards their capacity, they're already stretched to deliver on tranche one. Thank you. And that's why we're, uh, um, we're, we're looking at farmers taking up other options uh, instead back of planting to the new hedges. Um, Minister, I, I find your response in relation to the availability of, uh, of uh, hedgerow plants ringing fairly hollow. Um, because I do believe, um, similar to the issue with the low uh, input permanent pasture, your main um, approach here is based on the fact that the uptake is high. Um, and, and I mean, there's no reason, for example, uh, to change the low input permanent pasture. And unfortunately, the impact of this is going to be that, particularly for many smaller farmers, and I can say, particularly in my own county of Donegal, Minister that many farmers who under tranche one would have been able to achieve the €5,000 uh, full maximum payment under this environmental scheme will now be only able to achieve €3,000, and particularly because of the fact that you are removing the low uh, input permanent pasture measure. Now, the glass scheme, Minister, in many ways has been a disappointment to some farmers in that it wasn't what was expected. But what you are now doing by making this change without any prior notification means that many farmers who have been waiting for tranche two for various reasons, some because of the, over the, over, some because of the confusion that you yourself caused over the commonage issue, which affected 40% of farmers in my own county, Donegal, for example. Initially, you wanted 80% to sign up. 
to a common integration plan. Then a plan then it was 50 per cent. Now it's a now it's so guideline. Deputy, so question, there's confusion please. about that. Question. Secondly, Minister, secondly, question, Deputy. some are finishing out their current environmental schemes under EOS, uh, for example. And thirdly, Many farmers as well delayed their application on the tranche too because they had to divide up parcels, because entire parcels had to be actually entered into certain measures, for example, the low uh, input permanent pasture measure. Thank you. Now, the whenever now. they come to apply, Minister, you, without any notice, are doing away with it. Thank you. Meaning many of them will only be able to achieve a three thousand euro payment rather than the five thousand euro I come which back they to the now, please. Thank you, Minister. But sorry, I mean you're you're assuming that, that the low-input permanent pasture is the only option available to them. But of course it's not. They have loads of options available to them. Uh, and they have to look at the list in terms of what suits their own farming uh, structure uh, and apply them. Uh, and, uh, you know, you say that, that a lot of commonage farmers were confused and so have waited for the second tranche. Low-input mm. permanent pasture has nothing to do with that. The, the, uh, um, they, will, they will be coming under a commonage glass plan. Right? They'll, they'll be coming under a, a, a um, you know, if they're, if, if they're commonage farmers. So, so can I say that we have an obligation to ensure, because we're spending EU money here, and a lot of it, okay, uh, as well as Irish Exchequer money, that actually we set targets at the start of the scheme in terms of what we want done for this money. And, and if in the first tranche we're getting a lot of one, uh, uh, one measure done and not a lot of some of the other areas, well, then we have to try and rebalance. Uh, and in terms of some of the other areas, by the way, which have been strongly welcomed by farming organisations, changed uh, uh, in terms of making it easier to get into this scheme if you're in an SAC or if you have rare birds or if you have a, you know, a hen harrier problem, for example. It's easier now, uh, you know, if you're in that category, to actually get into glass Thank you, and to increase your payments. But, but I mean, we've had to change it accordingly, and the provisions within the scheme were always there for that. And people knew it. I call the deputy now, please. Deputy McConnell. Minister, you, you haven't had to change it accordingly. That's a choice you've made. You could have left it alone of what it was at. That was an option which was available to you, which you have decided not to pursue. Not particularly, to particularly. Okay. But you, uh, sorry, but Deputy listening, McConnell. Minister, you were please. telling me in relation to the hedgerows that a primary reason, even though it is the, 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 the quota has been met, the main reason that you're, you're discontinuing that is because of the availability of hedgerow plants, and that you may review that in tranche three. Yet you're saying now in relation to the low input permanent pasture that because it's met the quota you're obliged to actually change it. The reality here is, Minister, you do have a choice in this. And the reality also is that for many farmers they do not have other options which may be available to them given the circumstances of their own farm. Many were depending on the low input permanent pasture option. Many were also depending on the hedgerow option because you now without notice have removed that many of those farmers will be many of those farmers many of those farmers because of their particular circumstances on their own farms will only be able to reach a maximum payment of just under 3000 euro Deputy. rather than the 5000 euro minister this is not a measure you have to take it's a measure that's going to have a radical impact on many farm incomes particularly smaller farm incomes Thank minister you. 2000 euro is not easily earned in terms of income Thank and you. in one fell swoop here you are undermining what was already a difficult scheme for many farmers to actually have to qualify for. You're undermining significantly the Thank capacity you. of farmers to actually gain income and revenue from this, which actually might help keep many of them actually uh, farming on a full-time basis Thank you, Deputy. and make their farm I viable. De Minister, I know sorry, you Deputy. plan to announce this Deputy. next week. I would ask, in the meantime, Minister, that you revisit it and take into consideration the severe impact that this is going to have on many farms in County Donegal. I'm calling the Minister now to conclude. We're way over time. Minister, to conclude. Well, this is about every county, Deputy. It's about every county. I know you're only interested in one county, but it's, a, it's, about, it's about a scheme that actually makes sense across farming in Ireland. Right? First of all, there is notice. It's not open yet for tranche two. It'll be opening next week. The reason we're talking about it is because there is notice. So would you stop this nonsense about saying there's no notice? Right? She, the, the, uh, um, uh, and thirdly, you know, I am the one who has to stand over uh, looking at where we're spending money, where we're getting value for money, how we're spending that money, and justifying that through audit systems to the Commission. That's the way this works. This is a rural environmental scheme that is worth over a billion euros to farmers. And most of that money comes from the European Exchequer. And I am the one that has to make sure that it is spent appropriately. Otherwise, we'll be paying disallowances. 
Okay, this is not. This is not. This is about. This is about. Minister, to conclude on this. This is about supporting farm incomes, but it's also about getting environmental outcomes. Thank you. That's what it's Minister. about. And so, what we're doing here, I do not accept that there aren't alternatives for farmers. I think you're taking the lazy option, quite frankly, in terms of what you're saying. Um, I, I, what we are, what we're trying, what, what, what we're trying to do here is offer every farmer options in terms of gloss. But we're also trying to ensure that we get appropriate value, value for money in terms of environmental outcomes. Thank you. And so the tranches will change slightly to make sure that we continue to get the right outcomes that we need to get. And that's all that's happening here. There's still an option for, for low-income permanent pasture. The average application for that is only just over seven hectares. We're now making it five. Thank There's you. a slight adjustment in that, uh, and farmers should be able to adjust to that. Thank you. I've gone to the next question.